Hello, this is John Kenalopoulos from our office in Athens, Greece. Very interesting case. This is a 23-year-old lady at the time, eight years ago, had LASIK extra for what seems to be a normal cornea, but look down to the left. Uh, the thickness profile is irregular, even with our thinking back then, eight years ago. We had a successful surgery for about a minus uh, six myopia with LASIK and uh, 90 seconds of uh, 30 milliwatts of uh, CXL with EKXL um, one device, and uh, this were her topographies at the time. As you can see, perfectly normal, just mild truncation. Looks what happens with time. The cornea flattened and then flattened even a little bit more. And she turned out now, eight years later, would be slightly hyperopic, a plus one, minus half. And these are the topographies now. So we're gonna attempt a flat relift to enhance this procedure. And this is the reason I'm sharing this video with you. We're using our uh, Sinsky hook here to um, lift the uh, flap border and you can see how tenacious the adhesion is of the flap with the underlying stroma. And I think this case illustrates uh, with the best way our thought process for introducing a um, combination of CXL with LASIK as a means to reinforce the cornea. We have proved this in um, ex vivo studies uh, and shown that the cornea rigidity is increased by 100% when you uh, combine the higher fluency cell with LASIK just on the underlying stroma using, of course, our technique that um, avoids soaking the flap with riboflavin and just the underlying stroma. You can see here now I'm in with my irrigation spatula. You can see how tenacious the uh, adhesion is of the overlying flap to the underlying stroma showing that there are physical bonds that are created with the uh, LASIK CXL combination at the end of that original LASIK procedure. Now, a lot of discussion on why this case had a sequential hyperopic shift, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, but here we lifted the flap successfully. You can see the retreatment is mainly hyperopic. This was probably because it was necessitated to use uh, CXL. The cornea was biomechanically not fully stable. A successful result, patient 2015. I think very interesting case. Thank you so much for following.